I'm looking forward to the beating these goobers. Mm. Oh, look, I can get that guy from far away. Got it. Whee! Congratulations, you're now a threat to the city and everyone's going to kill you. I'm okay with that. Can I just say, I really hate this hero and menace level thing. I think everyone does. It was just so unneeded. I had a different idea on what it would be. Like I, th I thought it was going to be like this system where I can beat beat normal civilians up. This isn't infamous. I know. One can dream though. Spider-Man infamous. <laughs> Make everything infamous. <laughs> nope. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna stop some baddies in a car. I guess that's a thing we can do. That's probably one of the most enjoyable things you can do on this. Very true, very true. <laughs> then you just get shot of the policeman's car. Fuck off! <laughs> or maybe it just hits me with this broken windshield wiper. <laughs> very nice. These aren't really that hard to do, honestly. Push, push, push. That punch push. looks so weak. Looks like a punch from the WWF. Oh, shots fired. Speaking oh, of it. Yeah. Shots fired. Are you Gwen? Old Gwen, is that you? Wait. Actually, I think it is her. I think her model's been reused. Wow, we're talking about lazy. <laughs> I know. Uh, all over the car, Spider Man. But damn it. I mean, what can I, I mean, he's a horny teenager. I'm pretty sure he would have done Gwen in his uncle's car if he had one. Yay, you're only slightly a menace now. I'm not going to bother with the fire one. Fuck that. Spider-Man is Spider-Man, Spider does whatever a spider can, even glitch through buildings from time to time. Glitch through buildings from time to time, why? Because the game is coded badly, it's a main Spider-Man too. Whee! Might as well be Jumpman. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I am Leap Man. What can you do? Take a fucking guess. Oop. I can kind of see why people wouldn't enjoy this. Good. Why? Because it's too fast paced or something? That and plus, like, you, re you really are just leaping all over the place. You don't really feel like Spider Man. Hmm. This, is a, this isn't a parking lot, this is just under the bridge. Graffiti, how dare you! <laughs> Good thing we're not up against the catch from Jet Set Radio or else I would be screwed. Jet Set Radio Spidey. I can get and see that weirdly enough. Especially with Andrew Garfield's skateboard. It's still weird to think that he was in his theories, in the other theories. And yet he looks same age as me. Yeah. The uh, same could be said for the in-betweeners. True, very true. I uh, I remember seeing this one thing on Facebook actually, and it was like, oh, Emma Stone, and she was talking about Gwen Stacy, and she was saying how like, um, what was it like, how, like Gwen Stacy is like she very deeply cares about Peter Parker, and like, <laughs> she just goes like, unlike that, Ma unlike that Mary Jane, to which I am clearly better. <laughs> Well, to be fair, movie-wise, you are better. Ten times better, even. Even with the broken neck. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, Gwen Stacy never ends well. Unless it's Spider-Gwen. Mm, unless it's Spider-Gwen. 
you know, weirdly enough, I think there should have been a con you know, kind of a, a male version of that costume for this. But, you know, this game came out before Spider-Gwen did. And I think the costume Oops. design choices for this game aren't all that bad. It's just there are other options they could have went with. Yeah, they, I know they could have gone... They could have gone something to replace Flipside. Yeah. Imagine Spider-Ham was unlockable. I want the birthday hat to come back. Which was an actual thing in the Amazing Spider-Man 1 because um, if you set your um, console's um, clock or computer, whatever you use, I'm not sure if you can do it on computer, but um, if it's if you set your clock to August, you unlock the birthday hat for the month. That's quite clever. Mm. Do you remember? Do you remember the Stan Lee DLC for that for the first game? Yeah, I have that. Was it ever any good? It was. Um, it's short, but it's kind of entertaining to see an old man swing around buildings. Yeah, I can imagine. Anyway, um, where's the? Oh, I can't get the train. Oh. <laughs> I was about to go to my aunt's house for some cookies in a different costume. No, we can change costumes later. Mm. Only we've actually unlocked some from the hideouts. But Aunt May's cookies, though. No, <laughs> I'm having cookies. Hey, you can't get me. Because I'm Spider-Man. It's like, you're lucky there's a pole between you and me. Well, I'm just like a simple street thug. Why would I even try? I don't know. I mean, I mean, thugs still try and beat Batman, and yet they end up getting broken arms in the end. Yeah, just like, I would just be like, nah, mate, I I'm good, really. I don't need that in my life. There was only one thug in the, um, I think it was the Justice League cartoon that entered the, a dark room where Batman was in, sees him, and he's like, nuh-uh. Smart man, smart man. I can help you. <laughs> yeah. What did you think of this piece in the game? Piece? That like the whole Craven thing. Uh, honestly, I mean, it did. It didn't really take much, but he was the best character on this. Yeah, definitely better than Kingpin. Hmm. Now I can take the trade. What do you think about it, like? Characters like Electro and I'm not even gonna fucking mention right now, like Electro and Green Goblin, the main stars of the movie, probably get the least amount of game time, unlike the other villains. I'm kind of wondering why The Amazing Spider-Man 2 wasn't advertised as a rom-com. Well, like Craven and Kingpin alone, and even Carnage, probably do get more time shown in the game than the actual movie. Villains do, which is kind of sad. It really is. Hey. Oh, where is it? Ah. Good old black suit. Yep. It's like we were eventually going to do for our first run, but then the first run fucked. <laughs> You're never going to let that go, are you? No. Do you remember how Craven was in the Spider-Man 3 game? Uh... You mean out of nowhere? Yeah. Like halfway during the Lizard cycle, it was just like, yeah, the Lizard in Spider-Man 3, because that was fucking smart. And then like... There's Craven that's just like, I will destroy the Lizard, and then I will kill you, Spider-Man, for I am the greatest hunter ever, for I am Craven. Yeah, I was... Yeah, when I first saw him... Well, this was on the PS2 version of the game. I was like, wait, we met before? Then I remembered that um, the, um, I think it was the Xbox and the GameCube version, I, might be one or the other, or both, um, had um, an exclusive mission where where Craven's in it, but in the PS2 version of um, uh, the original Spider-Man 1 game, had Scorpion instead. Oh. 
when they put, when they actually do make a Spider-Man movie, like, I know I would kind of like to see Shocker. Yeah, he's practically easy to do. Yeah, like the first movie can be like street villains, like the street like the street level stuff, and then like if they really are going to do another trilogy, just like do a couple of different other ones, like get bigger and bigger and bigger. Can you tell I'm being sneaky? Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, crap. Oh, not, not so sneaky, the guy found you. Uh, the, this costume gives me extra damage anyway. Which is kind of natural of the black suit. That guy's just minding his own business. Look at him. Yeah, because that was pure fucking stealthy. He just destroyed half of his friends right behind him. That guy's on something. That guy's Tubby. And that coat. Why do I get the feeling he's Latino? You you know, I don't think you're wrong. He, they just, the way his face and like the tan of his skin, he just look quite Latino. Hey, could be part black, part Latino. Could be. There really is not enough lot to say about these fighting pieces because they really don't have a lot to them. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, thwip thwip. Why does he have a rat's head on his necklace thing? Why does he have such a righteous beard? He's Russian. Oh, that makes sense, then. Remember when he was a furry at one point? You mean on Spectacular Spider-Man? That was funny. Uh, yeah, that, that was way too weird. Hmm. Hmm. Remember? I really liked how they did Electro on Spectacular. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Why, did, why didn't Sony just take notes from that, from that show, then? I mean, they did make it. Or publish it rather. True. Hmm. I really wasn't a big fan of the design of Electro and Amazing Spider Man 2. Is it because like, he looks like Palpatine with a disco ball mix? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. But um, I think it's just the way they did it. Like, he had brain showing and all that sort of stuff. Like, I know. I think he looked a bit too. bare, I guess to say. Mm. Cause like I quite like what the spectacular did, where it had like sort of like just a huge bundle of electricity floating around his head. Hey, look, I'm swinging. Well, fucking done. Give the boy a medal. Someone, please give this boy a medal. No, look where look where my webs are going though. The heavens. <laughs> oh. Yeah, like I get the game trying to be clever and like, oh, you can only swing when there's something near to swing to. Nah, no, in Spider-Man 2, you actually need to be right next to a building or have something above you that you could swing off of. This is like Spider-Man for the PS1 where you literally are swinging on the fucking sky itself. But that was fun. That was fun. That was just a very good game, really. Mm. I actually remember getting that game in Asda. The only reason I did was just because um, I saw Venom on the back of it and I thought I need to buy this. And then <laughs> I saw Venom and I thought I'm so fucking happy I bought this. Hmm. Do you still have the copy or is it broke? No, I still have that, actually, that original copy. I still have it. Oh. And it still works. Oh. You're, be you're better than me at preserving stuff because I was crap at taking care of stuff. I still am. It's probably just because I haven't actually played the game physically in a long time. Hmm. I didn't know a dinosaur still existed. Look. No. He hunted a dinosaur. Clearly. <laughs> I covered wars, you know. 
just looks too much like Frank West. Ah, Mr. West. Welcome to my humble abode. It wasn't raining earlier. What was I doing? What was I doing in that time gap? Uh huh. Oh, so he's a philanthropist. Okay, so he's one of those hide and seek hunters. You know, minus the killing part. I will say, I kind of like what they did with him here. Instead of him just being like a greedy, selfish hunter, they kind of like made him seem as if like all you just wanted to do was kind of have a good challenge mm. so a thrill seeker mm. yeah how long was he in the city for again hmm? how long was he in the city for again because in this game yeah because you know all these decorations not long much I think hmm <laughs> Why doesn't... Okay, why can't Bear Grylls be a superhero? He has power. Why does he have craven power? Hmm. Yep, he has, the, he has the power to drink piss out of dead snakes. I guess that's like something you could put on a resume. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Into Shade's basement I go. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> also, obsession in his basement. <laughs> that don't. Oh. F okay, that's the first time I've noticed that. An elephant skull? Yeah. That's. Yeah. Okay. Also, what kind of pompous asshole would have a frame like that of himself? I was gonna say shade, but I think that might be a bit insulting. Oh. Can you imagine like shade like having that sort of thing on him? I can actually see Finn having one like that. <laughs> yeah, I thought I thought this was one of those Jewish candles. That's what I'm talking about. No, Connor. No. Oh, come on. Hey look, it's a CD player. Oh, I forgot what those are called. I know it's a record player, but I, don't, I forget what the horn on top of is. Mm. Also, when did you get up there? He's craving the hunter. You think he can, can't jump anywhere? Mm. Oh. Oh, go back, wait, go back. Yeah? Oh, thanks. <laughs> I thought that bear had green sneakers on. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the green thing out of the way. Is that a bear wearing fucking shoes? Wearing Nikes. <laughs> What's gonna? What are, you, what are you gonna do next, bear? You gonna put on some track suits and a snapback? All in bright colours. That'd be so out of character, but it'd be amazing just for Kramer to have a bear with Ned gear on. <laughs> the chav bear. <laughs> the chav bear. The Chavy Bear. What it doesn't hibernate, it just goes to its mom's house. Who the fuck is this? Someone who is clearly important to someone. Hmm. Hey, the boss is from The Amazing Spider-Man 1. I actually like these. Hmm. I don't actually remember. I feel as if one was Scorpion. One is lizard. No, that's scorpion. There's lizard. What's the third one? Uh, that's um, that's that's Nettie. Who's Nettie? The, the blue, the blue guy you just saw, the piranha thing. Yeah, but was that a thing in the comics? No, I don't think so. Hmm. Right. Um. A 
upcoming wars, you know. I would like to leave a legacy when I am gone. Pass my training to a protege. My only family is a brother. Who oh, um, canonically, um, Hammerhead is his brother. Oh. Why do they have different accents then? Mm. Uh, I think it depends on how long you stay in an area. Because uh, your ac your original accent may disappear over time. Mm. That's true. What did you think of Hammerhead as a character? I like him. What's here he is. He is netty. Okay. Oh, Isn't he beautiful? That's some real blowjob lips right there. <laughs> yeah, and he's a piranha. Uh, there's a is that, hmm? uh, is that an iguana? I yeah, that was lizards. Now that now that's the iguana. Yeah, he was um, made he was made by the lizard, and uh, I don't really know much about him. He's a scorpion. As in the scorpion. Hmm. And what's this one supposed to be for? Vulture. Oh. I'm pretty sure Vulture is a boss in this game. I think you you might be thinking of Web of Shadows. Maybe. Uh, maybe. That was a very odd game. <laughs> it it kind of pulled that Hero Menace system a lot better than this. And that was made in, what, 2009? Yeah, but to be fair, the game wasn't brilliant anyway. It was a hell of a lot better than this. Fair it is, fair it is. Venom Zella though. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Should have should have had Carnage in the game. It, yeah, that would have made sense. Yeah. I like Symbiote Wolverine. Oh yeah. He was terrifying. Mm. Whitney. No. Symbiote Black Hat was fucking terrifying. Mm. Who is this? Speaking of the speaking of the bitch. <laughs> Alicia, this is the number I gave Whitney Chang. Wait, I just had a thought. Did did Spidey, the Spidey and Whit, I have a feeling that Spidey and Whitney exchanged numbers, and he and Spidey might have um, gave Whit, gave um, Whitney his Peter Parker number. That, is that a? Oh, it's a. It's a shirt. I thought it had Black Widow on it for some reason. <laughs> That'd be weird. Oh yeah, um, the hype after that Civil War Super Bowl trailer. Yeah. You thought? I was hoping it'd be longer. It's a TV spot, so you don't really get any more than like fifty seconds. Also, Reese. Yes. Just for you. Yay! The best of the Spider-Man, if you ask me. Yep. I actually like, I kind of like these loading screens. Yeah, even if they are a bit long. Mm. But no, 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 I mean the pictures. Mm. <laughs> Plus, hey. mm. they're very good shots. Plus, in a way, the, the loading screens kind of stop us, kind of delay us from going into the inevitable, which is garbage. True. We'll see. It must be fucking hot underneath that. Yeah, I was about to say. And then again, I just then again, I don't think the east coast of New York of um America's that hot. True. New York can get pretty cold. And when it gets cold, it gets cold. Real like, cold. Like when we complain about the cold, we got nothing on them. True. But at the same time, we got nothing on Australia. Mm. When it comes to heat. Fucking. <laughs> That places in Australia just catch fire because it's just a bit too fucking warm. Mm. Mm. I'd like to go to Australia at one point. Mm. Mm. Yes, I have watched you in the shower. As well as your aunt. Only briefly, by the way, nice package. Someone to guide you, help you become.
become a man. Right. Are you coming on to me? <laughs> that scar though, that looks fucking fresh. What? What on his shoulder? Yeah. Hmm. Might look stitches on it. Hmm. Yeah, it might have been. You can tell he's a badass because he's got a scar over his eye. <laughs> As with every other protagonist. Well, actually, he's not the protagonist, but you know what I mean. <laughs> but he's got a weird grasp in that wall. He's not even touching it. His hand just... Like... Why is your hand so sweaty? Oh, it's because of the leather. I remember reading up that, like, at one point, Spider-Man got so angry, he threatened to, like, basically put his hand on someone's face and stick it to his face to rip it off. Oh yeah, that was that was a that was a, a Scarlet Spider Kane thing. Yeah. I'm like, ah, I know. And Kane and Kane actually did that to um Carnage, you know, just to break free of him. Yeah. Did you ever um read much of Scarlet Spider? Um. Can't say I have, but I do have a um I do have the um first issue of it in a um comic bundle I got from the airport when I was on my way to my dad's. Yeah, I always think the Clone Saga of Marvel was kind of weird. Nope, that was the most infamous thing. Like it was, like it was like someone just got the took the family tree out of Spider Man and just hit you in the head with it. Yeah. I kind of like Ben Riley though. He was a cool Spider-Man. And after, and I like the sort, I like the sort of blue that he put on his outfit. Mm. And a, and after Spider-Man: Edge of Time, his costume was never seen again. So it's actually kind of sad. I would have, I would have actually liked to see that on this. Mm. We. A lot of people are now debating that, um, um, kind of off topic, but a lot of people are kind of debating that now in the Civil War, um, Iron Man's team might possibly win due to the fact that Vision is on Iron Man's side. Would he really? I mean, Vision's not exactly Superman. No, but he's probably one of the most powerful events because he has literally an Infinity Stone. But then I was, but then I was think Scarlet Witch is probably the most powerful Avenger when I think about it. That because she's apparently meant to be like powerful like shit in this new one. What? 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 What the fuck? <laughs> I love you all. You don't see me. You don't see me. Can't lose that truck. It's my ticket to the Russian secret clubhouse. Go. Go, you slut. I bet I'm. I'm gonna. Oh, I almost failed this. Oh, you saucy bitch. Game, learn to... I'm not even that far away from it, come on. I can still fucking see it! No, I can't. I'm losing them. Gotta catch up. No, you didn't, you just... Tips off. You just so nonchalantly <laughs> drops. Yeah. Just... Yeah. That's a good thing we got this suit. Yeah. Yeah, we fucking... Oh. Actual good part of the of the game, the Russian hideout. I actually quite enjoyed these, but then they fucking run out. Just just like on the Amazing Spider-Man one, where crime runs out. I'm guessing this isn't a restaurant. Like you can buy, like maybe the end of the game, just like re like have them just revisitable because the Russian hideouts were actually kind of fun because I enjoyed the sneaking factor. Yeah, now I have all the maps to the nearest strip clubs in New York. Oh, Spidey. Mm. How did you handle the hideouts? Uh, you mean at first? Mm -hmm. uh, they were, they were, they were easy. I struggled at some, but they were fairly easy. Like some were because it was just dickish anime placement. Well then. He's not- Oh, he's not even stuck on the ceiling, look! 
<laughs> uh, Leo? I hate these things. They're like the, they're like the snatches. Of how do they even? Kids. How do they even get them? Russian technology, my friend. Can't you see? How the hell do you let a place get this bad? It's New York. Oh uh, yeah, what the fuck? I'm I mean, I mean, it is close to New Jersey. I know, but like the fuck, the huge holes in the ground of like. Pieces of train fallen. Hmm. <laughs> I don't really have an answer for you. I don't really. You really like would would really check, especially for the fact that this looks as if it was kind of linked to like the Grand Central Station Railway. Hmm. Ooh, that's gonna smart. Spy's just leaving these guys to starve to death. Yeah, re really. Like, he doesn't kill anyone, he just leaves them to starve. <laughs> what kind of name is Arcady? I mean, I know it's Russian, but I don't think it's. Uh, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. I am the sworn enemy of Spider Man. What's your name? The Tarantula. There, there is actually a bad guy named that. Makes sense. I'm Flyman. There's also a bad guy named that. God damn it. <laughs> I am the tech. There's a hero named that, but he's not spider related. <laughs> no Pretty sure Patrick Warburton played him at one point. I think he did. Checking. He was. Huh. I did it. You did it. I did I I, I did it, Mum. Mum, I, I did it. Harry won't mind if I borrow this for a little while. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it won't cost him like billions of dollars. Of course. The first of many suits. By many, I mean only like six. That was Morales. What are you doing here? Let's, you know, let's put it on. Aren't you a bit tall for that suit? <laughs> I'm kind of wondering why doesn't why doesn't Ma the Miles Morales suit have like red soles, you know, on his feet? Yeah. And you can't tell right now, but the music just clashed a little bit. Oh dear lord. Speedies. Hmm. Wait, is that what they're called? It just said Russian speedies, so I'm guessing. Hmm. Walking on sunshine. Wow. <laughs> that guy was clawing away for, for dear life. No, 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 no! Oh, this is my life. That's a very shiny suit. <laughs> is he already sweating under it? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Human beings are not less physically fast. Even with enhancements like that. that come on. Like, you are not a superhero. You are no Quicksilver, my friend. Which, yeah, he catches bullets. What is going on with the camera right now? Anyway, we can catch. Throw a hammer. Oh. Hey, Connor. Yeah? I know your worst nightmare. What? Jaden Smith has made it as he plays Miles Morales. <laughs> I know it's a scary thought, isn't it? Are you serious right now? My phone agrees. Sorry, I'm turning on. Sorry. <laughs> we are we are the worst at our hobbies, jobs, jobbies. 
<laughs> we had the worst hour job. He's like, really? I think mine are pretty okay. Then phone goes off. To be fair, we never aim to be the most professional. Especially that one time she had to talk to someone during that Zelda Let's Play. But, yeah. but like, we're not the most professional as much as we try to be. Mm. We, we accept our flaws. Mm. We do. Going in your way to suit. Or in fact, go as a chef like you did on that one Spider-Man meme. That, there was a meme where um, where where Spidey was dressed up as a chef and he didn't take off his mask and, and Jameson was like, Do I know you? <laughs> That's almost like me putting on a, on a baseball cap and you won't recognize me. <laughs> oh, I, I find that kind of funny. <laughs> just, just imagine, I, you know, I come. I mean, you know, I, I come come to your house, be like, hey, he like put me up against the wall, be like, who are you? You're you're not Connor. He doesn't wear caps. There's like so many good Spider-Man memes out there. <laughs> there is. Thanks, Sixties cartoon. I, I actually quite like the Sixties cartoon. Yeah, I'm not, say, I'm not saying that's bad. And I. Forgot to take a picture of the Daily Bugle. Game, chill out. Ah, the night sky. Hmm. I miss the, I miss the Daily Bugle building from the the original Spider-Man movies. You mean the sort of triangular one? Yeah, that one. Yeah, it was good. Wasn't that like? Isn't that the building that split Times Square? Uh, I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I mean, actually, we're near Times Square, so we could take a look. Uh, wait, yeah, so I feel like the, I'm pretty sure the Daily like, Bugle was like that building, and like the Tom McGuire ones. Actually, I think it was over here where these stairs are. Yeah, it was something. It was something like that. I never really understood what those stairs were for. Mm. Hey, let me in. I'm a, I'm a VIP. <laughs> Name? Uh, man. Spider. Man. Oh, you're actually on the list. Uh, enjoy, Mr. Man. <laughs> sad, do you have the sad parts? <laughs> um, a guy in my college, big Marvel fan, but his last name is literally called Man. Like N A double N. Alright. Yeah, um that was actually a surname of the um well of Action Man from the uh, CGI cartoon. I don't think you would have remembered that. I don't, I barely remember Action Man, mate. Mm. Peter, you could at least have gotten dressed for this. Let me put my camera up your skirt. Okay, see you, Rebecca Chang. I mean, Whitney. Uh, that wasn't me trying to be racist. I was an actual captain named Rebecca Chang on Dead Rising. Okay, so Pierre Parker looks like a young Adam, a young Frank West. And then there's Harry Osborne, who looks like a 40 year old. Were you just going to say that Peter Parker looks like Adam West? <laughs> Adam West, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just a man. Okay. Oh gee, I wonder what the B button does. I summoned a waiter. <laughs> you summoned Jeeves. Seriously, Harry looks fucking 40. He looks better than, than he did on the move, eh? That is that much, is for sure. I really didn't like the actor they got for him. Yeah, yeah he looks he did, like... He didn't look the part. Yeah, whereas James Franco was like, hey, I'm Harry. Whereas Dandy Khan was like, hey, I'm Harry. I'm Harry Osborn. I'm gonna die. So, like, Norman was usually always the Green Goblin, right? Yeah. How many times has Harry been it? Um, comics or cartoon? Just in general, because, like, I remember hearing, like, in the spectacular Spider-Man, they hinted there was that, that it was... 
Harry and there was a good evidence to show that Harry may have been the Goblin, but then Norman just framed him. That was a Metal Gear twist right there. Well, like, I think there has been a few times where Harry Osborne has been, like, the Green Goblin. Hmm. Uh, he's been the Green Goblin at one point. You know, mainly just to get back at Spidey. Why are you doing this, Spider-Man? How should I just walked it to like, hello, can I get a drink, please? Nice back, mate. Nice back. Sure. Yeah, we needed this. Sh should have been a point of view camera. Yeah. Oh. I used the force. Just then I start like, having a hologram conversation with Darth Sidious. Yes, my lord. <laughs> Can you imagine if Darth Vader was Russian? <laughs> Take your father's place at my side, young Skywalker. You've even to the dark side. I can't tell whether I'm sounding more Russian or Ukrainian, either way. <laughs> I mean, they're relatively close to each other. True, true. Nigel Thornberry, what are you doing here? One of them just said smashing. I thought you were there because one of them was wife of Tim Curry. Oh. Hmm. Oh gee, I wonder who this belongs to. Looks like it looks like a smiley face with those two dot dot two dots. Is this Reynos? It's fishbowl man's. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> What? In the first there was uh, in the Spider Man one movie game where Spider Man's trying to guess Shocker's name it's like, Oh I know, the cushion. Mm. Toby Maguire wasn't really trying to act on that game. Okay. They didn't try to act in any of the games. The only acting the only person who was actually acting in the movie games was fucking um Bruce Campbell. Well it's Bruce Campbell. Oh wait, I'm gonna see if I got enough for upgrades. I like oh Bruce, the narrator. I got plenty for upgrades. For days, nigga, for days. Uh, do. Alright. Just one more, then I get the, the sticky thwip. Ew. <laughs> Ew indeed. I can't forget why we're doing this again. I'm sneaking. Look, I'm sneaker. But why, why would it be sneakies? I don't know. Oof, this this guy's gonna go fucking... Oh, okay. Do you know what the Russian version of these guys remind me of? What? Uh, they remind me of that, um... Okay, camera. Um, they remind me of that, um... That one guy from Street Fighter. Um... I forgot his name, but um, he was fat. Oh. Um, Zangi? No, not Zangief. He's got the beard for it. Well, yeah, he does. But um, I don't know the sumo guy from Street Fighter. Yeah, I think that's what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. Okay. God. Come on. We just love that we can create shockwaves at will. Mm. Just by hopping. Yeah, just by. I am Bunny Man. Boing, boing. You remember that skit from Sansi Not Included? I remember that. Uh, sanity was good, and then it died. Mm. Then it came back to life, sort of. I wonder kind of that alien thing is like it coming back to life. It's basically one of those things where it reminds you it's still relevant. Thing was only made just to remind you that's still relevant. Mm. I miss Lyle. He still does good work. Yeah. 
Especially that time when he freaked out at being a Big Bang Theory. Yeah, <laughs> I actually quite liked that. Because, like, up until recently I realised that the Big Bang Theory isn't that great. It's not. I used, I used to like it, and then not for that great. My, my sister still likes it. I don't really know why. <laughs> so professional right now, because as this, like, sort of serious conversation about to happen, I'm just looking up Spider-Man memes. Mm. I covered wars, you know. Judging from your bargain basement suit, I doubt we move in the same circles. Ouch. Damn! This 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 girl be dropping some shots <laughs> and leaving some scratches. I've covered wars. <laughs> That only gets me the bitches. Also, what's up with Parker's body movement? You right? He's doing some ocelot shit. Well, nice <laughs> That's kind of, well, that is kind of ironic because Josh Keen did play ocelot and Spider-Man. Revolver Spider. Fat guy coming. Damn, he's fat. <laughs> like in Tall Shop, he, even if he's in Megan like Tall Shop, he's done his extra purchases. <laughs> I, wonder how, I wonder how big his car is, you know, for him to sit in. I mean, does he have to, like, does he have to sit, does he have to sit on the handbrake and lean on one side just to get the steering wheel? Imagine the Pope movie was super precise, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, just a big window box. <laughs> he just sits in it. Fuck you! Also, do you all have, do all your bodyguards have the same mother? You know, for a guy that's trying to that's trying to look good. You know, legit good. He's got a lot of scratches on him. Yeah. Dude was a dude was weird. His level in Lego Marvel. I found it weird that he was a big fig. I can't kind of make sense. Mm. No, it's just, right, that mm, I kind of, it's just, sorry, it's just that, uh, Daredevil from Kingpin, uh, Kingpin from Daredevil, uh, kind of spoiled me a little bit. Rest in peace, Michael Clark Duncan. No, the TV show Kingpin, but okay. Michael Clark Duncan was a good Kingpin. Oh yeah, he was. He was, in fact, he knew that movie, he knew the Daredevil movie was going to crash and burn, so he had fun with it. And the guy played Bullseye as well. Yeah. Is Bullseye in the Daredevil series yet? Uh, no, so far it's just Punisher and Elektra that's been announced. You'd think those I would be there. Eh, they're still trying to find an actor for it. It was originally going to be Jason Statham, but he refused. He's like, nah, man. But, um, you know the guy that played Trevor from GTA Five? Yeah. He was like, you know, I should, I should ask Marvel if I could take this role. How many chins do you have, good sir? Enough to know that they all combine to make none. Yeah, I got to do too. Covered wards, you know. Yeah, and I'm gonna stick my camera up Rebecca Whitney Chang's skirt. Don't get me big bucks. That was a horrible impression, Connor. I feel ashamed to be associated. With I don't. I can't. I can't really. You look, can't. Reese. I can't really hear myself when I'm doing an impression because you know these headphones. I'm kind of deaf to my inner voice. <laughs> it's like, so how do the headphones work? Do they block out the sound around you? No, they block out the side inside me, actually. I can't feel my heart beating anymore. More if I can fucking the neighbor shagging them out of the way. Like reverse headphones. The, this, okay, this game looks better at night. 
Yeah, I kind of wish like the open world stayed at night instead of the sort of daytime thing they went with. Yeah, if you want, yeah, on the first Amazing Spider-Man game, you can choose what date, what um time time set you could put it at. Mm-hmm. Like there was uh, dawn, sunset, night, and green fog, like green fart fog. I would. I actually would have liked to have seen Lego Marvel do um, nighttime. Hmm. Mm. I think I remember not liking this mission. Because it was t- too stealthy. A bit too. Too stealthy for you. <laughs> too, st- too much stealth. I didn't have power. Mm. I'm blue, Captain. There's not enough power. What are you doing right now? I was doing some sort of impression from Star Trek. Not. No, not that. I mean, the. Um, moving your camera. I mean, microphone. Oh, my tongue! It's not working! But I need my I need my tongue for Miranda. <laughs> for the mouth. <laughs> She'll get it soon. You know what I don't ever understood? What? How we just how like Russians and Muslims are essentially the enemies of America and everything. Well they're not really. Well, no, but most of the time whenever there's like big crime organization, you'd rather have like a Middle Eastern or a Russian organization, especially if it was an American one. Now that's just the media demonizing stuff. That's what they do at best. Oh wait. Forgot that guy. Let's not get into that for this. <laughs> Show party gets political. Political party. Ooh. Can't really say much. Our politics are shit. They are. Did you hear that um, David Cameron's mother is kind of against the Tories? Who? Well, who wouldn't be? True. It's funny because it's his own mother. <laughs> it's like she doesn't like her son. Oh wait, no one does. No one likes Cameron the pig shagger. That was the best week of memes. Just so many pig jokes. <laughs> even Russell, even Russell Howard made a tr- made a joke with that. He's fucking Russell Howard. He's probably fuck a sheep. Yeah, is it? Do you know what? Do you know what a um, Russell Howard did for? For making fun of David Cameron for the pig thing. Yeah. He was covering a news story about um, kids in Australia taking um, self-defense classes. Keep in mind, these are toddlers. Yeah. And he showed a skit of Peppa Pig just ki- killing her friends. Then David Cameron comes in out of nowhere and he goes, You haven't returned my calls. <laughs> I like how everyone was giving him shit for this, but he did this when he was in college. <laughs> No, let me put it this way. When you have something embarrassing on you, it's kind of, it's kind of hard to, uh, you know, put back away or something. How did you not notice me? <laughs> you fucking idiot. Well, uh... wait, were you talking to me about that? <laughs> you just joined the conversation. I know, right? Whoops. No, you don't. You don't have me. I have him. No, I have you. Ow, you! I pressed Y. Oh, you dirty bitch! I'm trying to think what the Russians with the beards look look like. The whiplash you'd probably get from this, to be honest. Like so many sudden turns. Oh, <laughs> yeah. How would how would you even how would you even stop yourself from puking after that? Thank you, God, for these extra platforms. I feel like they should have taken the. I feel like they should have taken the um. The web swinging option off of this. Yeah. 
Wait. Oh, Sniper Piper. Hey. Is he dead? I feel, I feel like if you have web in your face, you would die from that. Yeah, pulsification. I'm sure he's fine though. Mm. It's okay, kids. I killed before. Well then. Just to get these out of the way. You can, yo, he probably should have just burned in that fire there. <laughs> what, just, what, just pick up the fire barrel and throw it on people? <laughs> That'd be funny. It's not the Punisher. <laughs> just like swing around the city with that, with like with that, and then just throw it. Oh, pick photo opportunity. Oh my God, Salve! I'm reminded of that one mission from um, Spider-Man 2, where um, oops, um, what did you break? Spider-Man and Black Cat were like at the docks beating up like these guys in mechs. Oh god, those those were a nightmare. Those were like that was probably the the most frustrating mission in that entire game. The most frustrating, I would say, is just the final boss. Cause fuck that. All the bosses, just to hell with them. Rhino wasn't bad. I, yeah, believe it or not, I had trouble fighting him the first time. I guess if you didn't really understand what you were trying to do, eh? I was, I was a stupid kid. Mm. Just any time you fought a dog hog, oh, which is a chore because of those fucking arms. Mm. Oops, forgot about the sniper. Snipey, snipey. I'm sure it's okay. Yeah, he just fucking slams head first into an iron, iron tanker, but you know, I'm sure he's fine. Mm. That'd be funny, kind of funny if, like, with all these Russian mobsters, it just went just French mobster. <laughs> what? Why aren't there any other different types of gangsters instead of Russians and New Yorkers? I would have I would have liked to see an Irish mob. <laughs> oh, that's Spider-Man's gonna be such a doing. Actually, there was there was an Irish mob on Watch Dogs. Yeah, but let's use people Watch Dogs the better. What are you talking about? I actually like that. Yeah. I I'm not on the hate and bandwagon for the same reason everyone else is. I just never fully cared for the concept. I kind of liked it for it for it being in Chicago. That was original, I would say. In fact, I like a lot of open world games that take place in different cities, like Sleeping Dogs. You know, since it was taking place in um, Hong Kong, <laughs> which I think you would have enjoyed. Because it's oh, the um, a Grand Theft Auto in Florida. It's called Vice City. Okay, never mind. <laughs> and it's on the PS2. Was Vice City after San Andreas? I think it was... No, it was before. Wait, are you talking in chronologi chronological order or... Um, in game order. Um, No, Vice City came uh, came before San Andreas. Okay. Why was San Andreas so popular? Uh, I don't know. I, yeah, I, I didn't really understand that. I think it was because it kind of went deep. That makes sense. Then there's plus. I think it was because you know you you don't play as a white guy. Yeah. So um, that's it. You play as um this guy named Claude Speed. Very action hero name esque, if I do say so. 
Um, in um, let's uh, GTA three. Yeah, GTA three. I'm not sure about the um, second game. I could be I could be wrong on that, but I could be right. Then there's um. You know, there's Vice City who, I don't know who the hell he is. Mm. Then there's San Andreas where you play as CJ. Road and there's just ning 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 I don't remember, I don't think, I don't think I remember hearing the um, N word on that game. I think I remember. I mean, I know it was prominent in GTA um, 5. Because you know you play as a, you you do play as a a black guy, a rich white guy, and a Canadian psychopath. Oh, were the candidates? I'm sure. Hey, hey, hey! Fuck you! <laughs> yeah, I just. Got yeah, I got tears in my suit already. You haven't even been like attacked that much. I don't know. I know these su these suits must be made out of a cheaper material. Please buy my Heinz ketchup before I die. Ouch. Even though there's no blood on his face after that. Fuck you. Nope. Hey, do you think Spider Man might have made a condom for Spidey. for um, MJ? Like, just out of webbing? Maybe. Because. <laughs> Do you think that would work? I don't think it'd stop the radioactive spunk, but I'm not sure. <laughs> it won't stop her from getting cancer. That's what I'm that was still a stupid storyline. I think the way it started was dumb. I can't let those goons kill him. Although everything else is actually kind of sad. Plus, I think that was the base idea for Web of Shadows. I remember speaking to a guy, and he said he really didn't like Spider-Man. And he said, like, what did you read any comics? He said, I read one of the comics, and it was the one where he ended up making this deal with the devil. And I said, you really could not have picked a worse comic to start reading Spider-Man with. <laughs> he made a deal with the devil. <laughs> devil. Hey, just put your name in the comic on fire. <laughs> You motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, we what? Have a today. Why? Wait, why are you getting a headache? No, it's like, you motherfuckers, Dumbledore had a headache that day. Mm. Oh, <laughs> Don't remind me of that. We need to finish it at some point. No! Jonas will just keep going on about it. Yeah, well that's his problem. If he wants to finish it, he can do it without us. He did. Oh. He wants us to, us to share the pain, and he wants to read the whole thing to Peach because she didn't. She wasn't with us at the time. Oh. Even though I know it's bad, I was kind of laughing. I kind of was too. Hmm. Like, I think I was just laughing at Shade's pain at the time. Then again, I laugh at anyone's pain at something as dumb as that. <laughs> yeah, because strength is really part of the bo part of the body, or at least the body description. I don't know. Bye, Bob. 
Buy all your SDCC tickets now. Uh, yeah, you wanna you wanna wrap up after the boss fight? Uh, I think it's good to wrap up here. Yeah. Uh, okay. <sighs> Did a pretty good session. Made a pretty decent chunk of the story done. Mm, yeah. I didn't balls up. And now we go for the rest of the game another day. Bye bye. Man.